serious what are some scary horrifying creepy things that have happened to you or in general that could have a plausible explanation but still freak you out a few years back I lived with my mother and German Shepherd in a two-bedroom rented town home I got home from work one day and went about my daily routine when it came time to eat dinner I knocked on my mom's door to come and eat I smelled cigarette smoke and heard her grunt a response so I went back down and ate alone I figured I would just put a plate away for her fast forward to about 2 a.m. I am awoken by someone holding my hand and gently shaking it I immediately shoot straight up and look around my dog who is overly protective ans sleeps with me every single night isn't in bed she isn't even in the room she most definitely was on my bed when I went to sleep I sleep with the bedroom door shut and locked she is scratching at my closed and locked bedroom door from the hallway frantic I bolt for the door let her in and she is searching the whole room I'm now yelling for my mother no answer I force my dog to walk down the hallway with me I still smell cigarette smoke I bang on my mom's door no answer so I just open it she isn't even home the bed is made and her TV is off my dog and I search the whole entire house nothing is out of place all the doors and windows are still locked I was freaked out to say the least the next day I called my mom and she told me she left early the day before to go visit my sick grandfather I used to have a penchant for wandering around abandoned buildings when I was in high school one time a friend and I decided it would be a good idea to explore a farmstead that hadn't been in use for years the whole experience was really bizarre the farmstead was accessible by a long gravel road that brought you to a cluster of dilapidated buildings around a central barn we parked at the end of the gravel road near the turn off to the main road so we could walk around the property and just pull out quickly later we went into the barn first and there were deer bones arranged in a circle around the skull and a bunch of blankets and wood stacked in a corner of the room we thought it was really cultish and weird nope there are and started walking back to the car halfway down the gravel road we heard crunching heavy footsteps and someone screeching behind us blood curdling screeching we sprinted back to my car and tried to peel out of there as fast as possible but it had snowed the night prior and my back tire was stuck in a puddle of melted snow my friend was screaming because she was so freaked out but wouldn't turn to look at the path behind us by the time I had gotten the car unstuck she turned around to see if there was someone following us and there was no one there I could have been a bird or something but we both swear up and down to this day that someone was following us I actually thought I was going to die that day undefined I used to go explore abandoned places with my friends too the weirdest experience was at this abandoned amusement park we went to the last time we had been there a skeleton of a cat had fallen from a ceiling tile inside of one of the buildings and freaked one of my friends out but I wasn't there so I don't know much about that incident but this park has a long walk to get to the entrance and the gate has been bent just enough that you can step through it at the right angle so we walk probably a mile across a field to get to this gate and step inside the first building is some sort of old storefront type of thing we walk up to it and one of my friends notices a light coming from inside and we all fall silent as he steps forward to peek in he looks back wide-eyed and naturally the urban exploring rest of us go over to the doorway and check what he saw the whole wall opposite from us was on fire it looked like it had purposely been lit on fire like no less than 10 minutes before we got there and we straight sprinted back to our cars after that freaky speep undefined holy crap that sounds horrifying it was pretty freaky I was more worried about getting away from there so nobody tried to charge us for arson or something honestly 
but I never saw anything on the news about the fire or buildings burning down in that area. And I genuinely wonder what happened to the place. This is less scary slash horrifying slash creepy and more unsolved mystery that still bugs me. When I was five, the tooth fairy came and left me a quarter for my tooth. She also left me this beautiful intricately carved wooden pencil box. In the morning, my parents both asked me where I got it. I told them the tooth fairy brought it. Almost 30 years later, my parents still swear up and down it wasn't them. They've confessed tons of other things they did. So I believe them when they say it wasn't them. I would like to know where that thing came from and who put it there. See this might be a joke but I hate he a friend who thought it was the tooth fairy that came to him one night but was actually a random person breaking in. Who gave him 10 to stay quiet. When I was younger. My mom. My grandma and I liked to go to this little frou-frou tea shop that was about 40 miles from our home. It was a cute little place where you could get the classic tea and sandwiches and cute little desserts and all. One time we went. All was normal. But on the way home we received a call that my other grandma had passed away. Very sad. But as she had been battling cancer not exactly unexpected. The next time we went. A few months later. On the way home we received a call that my uncle had died suddenly of a heart attack. Creepy coincidence for sure. But we still did not think too much of it at the time. We went back a third time a few months after that. And for the third time on the way home. We received the phone call that someone had died. This time it was my grandpa's brother. We never went back to that tea shop again. Now all of these people were elderly and not exactly in the best of health. So them passing away around the same time was not exactly creepy. But the fact that three separate times that we went to this place. Three people died the same day and we received the calls on the way home. Makes me think something about that place was cursed. It has since closed but I'm still nervous to even go to that area to this day. A few years ago I was trying to get hold of my parents for something. Can't remember what. Neither of them answered their cell phone so I called their home phone. The line picked up. And it sounded like someone was talking but it was very distorted. After about 10 seconds the line disconnected. That was at 9 p.m. My parents called me back around 10. 30, they had been out at a movie. Which had started at 8. 30. They live alone. Bonus. If you've watched the first season of Stranger Things, the sounds Joyce hears on the phone are pretty similar to what I heard. Undefined. So, this is going on as we speak. But let's take you back a couple of months to when this all started. One nice warm day. End of August. Early September I go outside and find this little ball of fur slash feathers slash hair and a dangling earring hooked in on my porch. Weird. I thought. I brought it up to my husband and said that there was some weird juju speep on our porch and it freaked me out. I was not touching it but it needed to go. He suggested that it was a nice gift from the tomcat next door. Or something that our dog dragged home. My dog has never done that before. But hey. A way more logical reason than someone leaving weird juju speep on our porch. Cool. Then last week. This fully intact lower mandible bone of a white-tailed deer shows up on our porch in the exact same place as where the hair slash feather slash fur ball was placed. Again. I ask my husband about it and he says that the dog must have brought it with him. Again. Something that he's never done but logical. I still wasn't going to touch it. The weird fur slash feather slash earring ball was still fresh in my mind and if someone was leaving weird speep on the porch I wasn't going to touch it thanks for taking that danger on. Han. It stayed on the porch for a while. Yesterday. I was studying. Facing my front door. Around lunchtime. 
My dog starts freaking out and I look up and there's this older. Disheveled looking lady I think. On our porch. Who I had never seen before. Walking toward our front door. She leaves something on the bench we have out there and turns around and walks away. After a beat. I get up to grab whatever pamphlet she left on our porch. Except. She didn't leave a pamphlet. She came onto our porch. Took the lower mandible bone and moved it onto the bench. Right in the middle of two posts of the porch fence. Right in line with a bright ray of sunshine. So. Now I'm pretty convinced that there is someone leaving weird speep on our porch and here's hoping we're not cursed. Install motion activated cameras. If she comes back. Get a picture and contact the police. Say it's trespassing. Or suspicious activity. Or something.